Kitchen today I'm going to make blueberry cake. And for the blueberry cake we will need lots of blueberries, beautiful blueberries. We will need flour. And I've set a little bit of flour aside to sprinkle over my blueberries, which I'm going to do right now. Because if we don't do that, they're all going to sink to the floor and I want them sort of scattered around in the batter. So if we have the flour on there, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to just stir this up here. And now I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients. I have a couple of eggs. I need some orange juice. I need butter. I have buttermilk. I have baking soda, baking powder. And remember the soda always needs something sour in order for it to work. And um, that's why we have um, the buttermilk here. And then I have a pinch of salt. And then I have regular milk. And um, I think that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is incorporate the baking soda with the baking powder and the flour. We want to make sure that we whisk all that together. <coughs> And then we're going to start whisking together our sugar and our butter. And that's going to take at least three or four minutes, depending on how soft your, your butter is. But you want to make sure this is like a really creamy consistency. So. And now I'm going to add my eggs. You always want to crack your eggs separately because if you got a bad egg, you don't want to have to throw away the rest of your ingredients. So they're going to go in here. And then I'm going to add my salt. My buttermilk, my milk. I'm gonna cut up my orange now and make some juice. And now my flour goes in. I'm just going to do this one at a time because if I do everything at once, it's just going to come flying in my face. So I'll just start little by little. And you want to work fast because you don't want to over mix your batter. And by the way, I preheated my oven at 375. And all my ingredients I used at room temperature, so I took them out about a half an hour before I started here. And add some more flour. And that's it, we're already finished. And all we need to do now is incorporate our blueberries. I'm going to whisk them together in a spoon very carefully because we don't want them to break up. So I'm just going to do this by hand and sort of fold them into the dough. And I'm going to use a baking pan today because I'm taking my cake to a picnic and that's easy for me to transfer.
transfer, but you can use all sorts of different uh, baking pans. Whatever you're in the mood for and whatever the occasion is. baking dishes. It's about one and a half inches deep and I buttered the pan so my parchment paper doesn't come up. And all I'm going to do is pour my dough in here now. And then spread it out. Make sure it's evenly spread out on your pan so it bakes evenly. beautiful this looks it's going to taste gorgeous and it's so pretty with the blueberries and the the cream colored batter so I'm going to put this into the oven at 375 so our cake was in the oven for 23 minutes and it sat here on the countertop for a few minutes just to cool off a little bit now I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar over this You can do as little or as much as you like. It looks so pretty and it smells good too. Okay. I'm going to lift it out of the pan now. Now remember, if you use a different baking pan, you're going to have to adjust your uh, the time that it's in the oven because um, you know some muffins take longer muffin pans than this one, so you have to watch out for that. So let's give this a try. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this turned out really, really pretty. And it smells so good. The orange juice with the blueberries just bring out that bursty, springy, summery flavor. And it just, it just makes you happy. You have to just try this recipe. So there you go. This is our blueberry, our blueberry cake for today. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time in Alex's Kitchen. Bye-bye.